wagon that we've installed a scale on. You can see it's rated at about 600 bushel. They've added sideboards at the top to get the extra capacity. It probably was rated a little less than that originally, obviously, but with the sideboards, they can get probably that in there. So we've put an electronic scale on this, and I'm just going to kind of show you how we did that. On the back, usually, typically the wagon, when it comes to us, the scale bar is on here already, but there usually is some type of a space or bracket that's there. It's actually bolted onto the running gear and to the box. We've actually utilized part of that to adapt our load cell to. So the back's usually pretty straightforward. We can come with our top bracket that we use at attachment, and the box just pretty much sits rigid on the bars. This bracket has a little bit of play to it, back and forth for a little bit of give. Here we welded the extension plate to bolt it down to. There's four bolts, uh, two on each side. Another method is instead of this plate, we could come down with metal uh, brackets or, or tabs that we would weld right to the bottom of our bracket, and then we could drill holes and bolt through one in each of the four corners. You could bolt, bolt through horizontally. If that was easier, uh, some have a solid frame and that works better. Sometimes creating this platform works better. Either method works fine, but it just sits there flat on it. We actually have a little safety chain here. That is nothing. It's just in case of some extreme circumstance, we want something to help protect it. We, we envision that probably never ever being utilized, but it's there as a safety issue. On the front, we do very similar. We've got our wave bar mounted down on our platform with the same four bolts. Again, that alternative method could be used. Our top bracket is here, pretty much like it is in back. However, this wagon originally had a called a rocking bolster that would allow it to flex when you go through hills and dips. The center column, uh, there's two sleeves that, imp that will slide back and forth in there, so let's just go up and down. But to recreate that, we've mounted our bar solid, but we have this scissor bracket, this slotted bracket here. There's a metal bracket in here at the slot, and this with a slot, that allows us as we go through dips and valleys, if we need to, this can move up and down, keeps the flexibility in. And that helps us so we don't have issues with any of the brackets uh, being compromised or cracking or anything like that or need to do any repairs because this thing can walk like it was originally intended to. So that's really how we do most of the scales and most of uh, the gravity flow wagons, uh, especially the bigger ones. If you get a smaller one, say 300 bushel or so, you maybe don't need to do the scissor. But if in doubt, we put the scissor in and that's always served us well. Uh, then it's just our four wave bars. They consolidate typically to this particular one. They're just going to have their digital readout on a pivot bracket right here. That's where they wanted it. They can run a self-contained battery on the uh, uh, wagon that they recharge or out of the tractor pulls it. We can take these four leads and consolidate them to a central junction box and just have one lead coming into a readout in the cab. Or maybe you've got like a Libra system where you work off of Bluetooth and the iPad, but the low cells stay the same. So that's a pretty simple uh, way that we install these, but it's very effective.